Hey, I'm Chris, and I'm down by my car today to work on an issue that came up the last time we were camping. We were parked under a tree and we got a bunch of sap on our car, and now I'm going to try and clean it up using some isopropyl alcohol. I read online that you can use about a 15% solution to get pine sap off pretty, pretty easily, so I am going to mix that up and I'll show it to you right now. And then I will move my car out from our loft storage, which you can see right here and then I'll try and clean off the sap. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is test out this solution on a spot that's a little more inconspicuous than the top of the hood. So I'm just gonna try this little section of uh, body panel right here. So I'm just gonna dip a little bit into my Solution. Doesn't seem to be doing anything bad to the paint, which is good. Don't want to be like stripping my paint for the clear coat as I do this cleaning, because that would just suck. All right, so that seems to be pretty good. So I am going to move back up to the hood of the car and try it out there. All right, so here you can see this spot here and this one over here that are both a little bit smudged from me trying to clean them off. I'm just going to dip a little bit more in the alcohol solution here. Just lightly rubbing. I'm not, uh, not scrubbing or anything. Just actually trying to get them a little wet and let the alcohol soak a little. Let this sit for a couple of minutes. call this a fail. Hey, I'm back in the laboratory, also known as the bathroom, and I'm going to remix my alcohol percentage to about 70%. Uh, this is based on a video that I just watched uh, by Chris Fix, which I'm going to link below. And uh, in his video, he tries a whole bunch of different products, uh, including professional ones. And ultimately, what he comes to the conclusion of is that uh, 70% alcohol uh, works really well, isopropyl alcohol works really well for removing uh, the pine tar. And he also tried hand sanitizer, which should also be in that range, uh, maybe like, you know, 50% or higher to be useful, so it should be in that range. And uh, both of those work really well for removing the pine tar. So I am going to remix mine. I'm also going to use a new bottle, and I'll show you why in a second. Here's our solution. I'm going to actually pour this out, but before I do that, here's the expiration date on this bottle. And uh, Emily had pointed that out to me, and I kind of just said, "Oh, well, you know, what can it really matter? It's just alcohol." But I guess poss it's possible the alcohol is uh, evaporated, and this is actually extra uh, diluted already. So I am going to bring out this new bottle, which we already had and it expires in 2025, which uh, if you're watching this in 2025, this is actually like four years before that. This should be much closer to a 70% solution and uh, we'll give that a shot. All right, I'm back down by the car and I now have my higher alcohol percentage uh, solution. I also brought a little bottle of hand sanitizer, which is uh, about a 62% solution, so I might give that a shot too. See if I can replicate uh, Chris Fix's results. I'm just gonna put some of this on here. Wait a couple seconds. Oh, I'm also using a chamois now. I'm trying to waste a little less. Oh my God, look at that go. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so if you read on forums online to use a 15% solution, don't bother. Look at that. Instantaneous. That is amazing. All right, let's move over to this other spot. All 
All right, just put a little bit of the hand sanitizer on there. Oh yeah. That is spectacular. It just eats that pine tar right away. Don't bother going and buying an expensive product you'll see in Chris Fix's video. They do not work any better. And I just remembered another spot that had a bunch of pine tar and that was on the windshield. There was a spot right there. Just wow. I'm just so impressed with the how this solution's working compared to what I was trying before. That's probably an old chip. We've had this uh, windshield repaired, chips on it for a few times from drives across the country. And I just uh, found another big drip of sap. I just hit it briefly with the uh, with the alcohol, but here here goes for real. I'm just going to use a little bit of the hand sanitizer. It's a little bit goopier. All right, let it go down there. Not even rubbing, just moving the chamois back and forth over this. And it's just dissolving it away. Gone. All right, I already did the skylight on the other side. I'm just going to do it over here, just wiping off all the dust, finding the spots. There's one there. Gone. Perfect. Isopropyl alcohol. Nice cheap way to clean bug guts and pine sap off of your car.